Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking at the equation 5x squared minus 12 is equal to negative 4x. We're asked, what is the negative solution to this equation? If we write this down right here, and bring this 4x over, I'm going to get a familiar form, right? Where we have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We have an x squared and x term and a constant, and then we're gonna have that equal to zero. What you can do here is you can just plug this in to the quadratic formula. Get another pencil. You can do this, calculate it out. It'll give you both solutions. One of them is gonna be negative, and it'll be one of those options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, we could do that, but if we're crunched for time, there might be a faster way to do it. Okay. So if we want to get this into the form, 5x times x, 5x plus a number, 5x minus a number, times x plus a number, x minus a number, is equal to zero. Then this is going to give us our solutions. This is factoring it out because one of these has to be zero for the overall uh, product to be zero. Okay, so let's work backwards, okay? say x is equal to negative 4. What happens if we add 4 to both sides? If 0 is equal to x plus 4. So what we're saying here is this is potentially one of the factors. And then we can work backwards to find out what this one would be, and then we can check to see if that lines up with 5x squared plus 4x minus 12. Because when you're taking into account 5x and x, all the factors of 12, the plus or minus, there's too many options to go through versus if you have x squared plus 2x plus 1, this is something that's really easy to factor. This isn't like a really clicking the factor, so we're going to do these tricks to basically use the answers that they're giving us to figure out which one would line up. Okay, and so we have x plus 4. Now we know this last term is going to be a minus, and then what times 4 do you have to multiply to get negative 12? Well, that would be negative 3. So this 5x squared, that first term is going to be good. Minus 3 times 4 is going to be good. And now we have to check to see if this middle term is going to be good. That's what we're going to get here. Only one of these is going to have the middle term line up. So right here, we can FOIL it out. So 5x squared plus 4 times 5x is 20x minus 3x minus 12. And this is equal to 5x squared plus 17x minus 12. So you see the 4 does not line up with the 17, so A is not going to be our answer. Now we're going to do this for all of these, and then we are going to have one of them line up. Now this might seem like it's taking a lot, but that's just because I have to explain the concepts. If you actually just started from this point, it's going to be a lot quicker than doing the quadratic formula. Okay, so we have negative 12 fifths. What is that going to look like? Well, if we add to both sides, x plus 12 fifths, let's so go to 0. If we multiply everything by 5, we have 5x plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so in this form, where we have 5x and x, 5x plus 12 is going to fit in here. How do you get 12? How do you get negative 12 from 12? Well, you multiply it by negative 1 is equal to 0. Now we do the same thing where we FOIL it out, right? We make sure each of the first two terms are multiplied by the next two terms. That's 12. That's going to be 5x squared plus 7x minus 12. Again, it doesn't line up, so both of these are out. Let's try C. So if x, we got a room here, but so let's say x is equal to negative 2. Adding 2 to both sides, our mystery factor here is going to be x plus 2 is equal to 0. So that's going to be fitting into the second term with the 1 in front of the x, not the 5. And now we're saying, OK. We want to make negative 12 from 2, we're going to multiply it by negative 6. And again, that you're seeing this result, all of these have a negative 12 at the end, which is why it's lining up. Again, just have to multiply these out. Don't want to go through every single one because we've done it three times now. But here when we add it up, we get 5x squared plus 4x minus 12. So this does line up, which means these are the factors of this, which means these are the solutions of the original equation, which means C is going to be your answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.